Aloha everyone and welcome back to Aloha Jen's beauty blog. For those of you that are new here, hi! My name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician in the state of California. Well, welcome to the follow-up video after completing my five-day jumpstart phase of using the R Self Lip Filler. So I completed my um, fifth day, which was yesterday, Friday, March 22nd. Today is Saturday, March 23rd. <laughs> so what is the R Self Lip Filler? It's a subtopical lip plumper with patent pending technology. They use what they call Entides, which is patent pending, which is a peptide delivery system to deliver hyaluronic acid into the lips to plump, restore the shape, and also restore the hydration of your lips, giving you like that uh, filler look to your lips. And it also has vitamin B3, which enhances the color of your lips as my lips do look back to their natural color before starting this treatment. My lips were, were starting to look more like my skin tone. And I used to have really nice pigmented lips, but since I have, you know, I'm almost 47, I'll be 47 in a couple of, in less than a couple of months. And I have been noticing lately that my lips have, you know, really thinned out. I'm getting more lines on my lips and that I have been losing the color. And I have been trying treatments to restore the plumpness and the shape of my lips, but I haven't found anything that works. So then came along our self lip filler. And after using this, well now six days, because I did do my first maintenance uh, application this morning, I have noticed a difference in my lips. Now I'm gonna put up my before and after pictures here and you guys can take a look and see what you notice. Um, it's only been five days. I started this on Monday, March 18th and finished last night, which was Friday, March 22nd. And here we are today. <laughs> so not only have I noticed my lips being plumper, smoother, restoring the shape of my lips. As you can see, like my Cupid's bow is coming back to life, but my lips are staying hydrated. This really helps hydrate your lips. Normally I am reaching for my lip gloss like every few minutes to keep my lips hydrated and they always feel dry and cracked even during the winter time. Since using this, I notice I'm not reaching for my lip gloss or my lip treatments as much as what I was before to keep them moisturized and hydrated. Now, with this treatment, I am noticing great results. My coworkers are noticing the difference in my lips and my husband is noticing a difference in my lips. Granted, it's only been five days, but each treatment builds on your results. So for me, I will continue to use this and share it with you guys. Now I'm gonna go into a video right now showing you guys how I apply it. Um, this is gonna be a video for applying it for my um, first application for my maintenance phase of using it twice a day. So you guys are gonna go into that video and then I'll be back and share my final results with uh, our self lip filler. Aloha everyone. I just wanted to come on here and show you a quick demo of how I apply the our self lip filler. Normally what I do is I apply this after I brush my teeth in the morning and after I brush my teeth in the evening. So I just, last night I just finished my five day jump start and I haven't applied it yet this morning. I did just get out of the shower I haven't applied my skincare yet, and this is what my lips look like. So now I'm going to apply my maintenance phase, which is gonna be once in the morning and then once in the evening. However, they say that you can apply this three times a day or one or two times um, a day. Now, what you have to take note, this is, does not replace, this is a lip treatment. It is not something that you wanna apply throughout the day, okay? So I'm just going to take the clicker here 
and I'm just gonna slowly press it in. On I like to use my thumb, and you just press it slowly until you see some of the product come up to the tip. Okay, that might have been too much, but depending on your lips, my lips are small. So I start out at the center and I just dab it and then I move it out and I keep it inside my lips and I do just take this, the tip right here and I trace the bottom of my lip avoiding the skin around the lips, okay? So then I'm gonna take this and put it on my upper lip. Then I like to take the back of the tip and spread it on the lips. And then take this tip and for focus on the border of my lips, Cupid bow. And I don't feel any stinging anymore with this initially when I did my first day of the five applications, I did feel that immediate tingle but now I do not. Sometimes just a little bit, but other than that, I rarely even feel it anymore. And then I just press my lips together and I wait for it to absorb. And then once it's absorbed, I'll either apply the Arself lip conditioner. Sometimes I'll go for the revision um, lip replenish treatment or the Rescue MD lip, lip treatment. All three of these are wonderful. I do like to take this one with me during the day because it has a nice shine to it and it looks like lip gloss on my lips. This one is very thin. It kind of reminds me of a cross between um, a lip oil and a lip gloss but this is definitely more moisturizing and hydrating than a lip oil or a lip gloss, and it's not sticky. It's very comfortable on the lips. If you like something that hugs your lips more and stays on longer and is thicker, I would recommend the uh, Youthful Lip Replenisher from Revision. Just take in mind this is thicker and this one will be sticky. Now, the Rescue, MD lip restorative treatment. I really like this. This one does give my lips an instant plump um, too without any shine. Um, this one you can wear under um, like a lip gloss if you wanted to, but this one I reach for more so when my lips feel like they need to be um, uh, rescued. <laughs> You know, like if they're really dry and dehydrated, but I love this all the time too. It is a great lip treatment. It's one of my favorites, but I have been really enjoying the Ourself Lip Conditioner. It's really beautiful. It, I noticed that my lips do look a little bit plumper when I put this on and it feels really good. This one does have a little bit of peppermint in it. The Rescue MD um, does not. And this one has a little bit of a um, minty tingle to it, but all are very, very light. Now you can see how my lips are very um, red from that B3 um, color enhancer in there. Beautiful, right? So now the next time I will apply this is at night um, for my maintenance phase. And what you have to take into consideration is that after your five day jump start your treatments will continue to build and you'll see more results in your lips. I hope you guys found that this was helpful and if you wanna see how I um, apply the five uh, layers for your five day jumpstart, you can watch my original video, which was my first impression, and I will link that down below. And just so you know, you want to make sure that each layer completely dries into the skin, absorbs, and sometimes it may get a little white looking, and you just wait for it to absorb into the skin before you apply your next layer. And then after the fifth layer, you want to apply your lip treatment of choice and then carry on. And um, yeah, so I hope that you found that this is helpful and I'll see you I soon. hope you guys enjoyed that video and found it helpful on how to apply the Ourself Lip Filler. 
Now, I have been really enjoying this. I am someone who um, is not into um, injectables or lip filler. I have nothing against anyone that, um, you know, does it or wants to do it. It's just that it's not for me. Um, I'm really scared to do that because, you know, I've seen really good outcomes and I've seen really bad outcomes. And my lips are thin. And I also hear it's really painful. So I'm so happy to have found this product. Now this is different than a plumping gloss because a plumping gloss only temporarily plumps up your lips. With each treatment of the Arself Lip Filler, it will build and your lips will look plumper. They look like they're a part of you and your lips will restore to their natural shape if you've lost it over the years. What I have noticed um, that has made me so happy is that I have been not wearing lipstick like how I used to because even though I wear lip liner and a, a lipstick on top, it feathers into my lip. And this week, um, actually yesterday, I wore lipstick for the first time in a long time and my uh, lipstick did not believe, bleed outside my vermilion border. So it is working. I love it. I know it's pricey, but I think it's absolutely worth it. And I will continue to use it and share my results with you. Now, when you first get your Arself lip filler, it comes with a refillable pen that already is filled. And then you get a refill for this. Now, I'm not sure how long this is going to last as, you know, this is my first time using it and I just did the five-day jump start, which is in the morning, you apply this five times to your lips, letting it dry in between applications, and then you do the same thing in the evening. Now I'm on the maintenance phase of using it once in the morning and once at night. However, they do say that you can use it three times a day, so you could go morning, midday, and night. I'm just gonna go with the two times a day for myself. And <clears throat> so after I finish this, I will come back and we will share my results and that way I can give you guys a good feedback on how long this full system will last. If this is something that you wanna to continue to do, make sure that you keep your pen because it is refillable and you can only put, then you only purchase the refills. Now, I love it, it's great. Um, I'm so happy to have found this. Now, I have to tell you, this is not sponsored. I purchased this on my own and I am not affiliated with anybody that sells this, just so you know. <laughs> I paid for it with my very own money. And long when I um, um, picked that up is I picked up the R-Self Lip Conditioner to test with the R-Self Lip Filler. Now this is very nourishing. It has some hydrating and nourishing ingredients such as hyaluronic acid and vitamin um, E. It has a slight um, mintiness to it because there is a little bit of peppermint oil in here. However, this, this color is clear and it does look like a little baby pink here and you can tell I've been using it. You have a large doe foot wand here and it hugs the lips perfectly here at the tip it's slightly indented and it really just hugs your lips so beautifully when you apply it. Now, this is really, really lovely and I do like it. Now, I find that this doesn't hug your lips um, as much as I would like it to and it doesn't last for as long as I would like it to. However, when it does wear off, my lips do not feel dry whatsoever. So it is beautiful. I do love it. But if you have the Rescue MD lip treatment or the Revision Youthful Lip Replenisher, you don't you don't need this, okay? Just to let you know. I do like it and I will probably repurchase it because I just really love the way it feels on my lips. Um, another thing too uh, I wanted to point out is when I did my first day of using the Arself lip filler, I did experience that niacinamide tingle, which is like, you know, stinging and you feel heat come to the skin. Well, I felt that way with my lips. As I've been using this each day, 
<clears throat> and especially the last three days, that tingle went completely away and I didn't feel it anymore. I did get like a little slight tingle if it gets a little bit on my skin from going like this with my lips, but it was not bad. I have gotten used to it. So for those of you who are worried about it, you know, stinging or that tingle, it will dissipate as you're using this, okay? And maybe if your lips are compromised, maybe they are a little bit dry, you may feel it a little bit more than other days, but the initial um, day that you apply this, you will feel it. And it was definitely tolerable. It only lasted like 10 minutes and it was not bad. So if you're used to using niacinamide, you know what I'm talking about. It's like that stingle. <laughs> but it feels completely normal. So I love this product. And if you're looking into it and you like what you are seeing with my lips so far after five days, I would highly suggest looking in this and looking into this and I definitely would recommend it. If you're looking to restore that natural volume, some plumpness to your lips and that shape. Now, anyone can use this if you don't have any reactions to niacinamide. Um, you could use this. Those who have lip filler can use this to extend their lip filler. If you're interested in lip filler, this is a good um, test for it to see how your lips would look a little bit plumper. This is also great for those of you who had lip filler but had it dissolved and you wanna restore the health of your lips, this will help with that too. It is truly a remarkable product and I'm so happy to have found it thanks to Leah from Skin Beautiful RX. And yeah, give it a shot. I think you will love it and I will keep you posted on my results. If you liked this video and you found that it was helpful, please give it a like. It really helps my channel when you like my videos. Leave me a comment and subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you part of my YouTube community. I am sending you all so much love and light, wishing you a beautiful rest of your weekend, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.